Good evening, Edwin. Good evening, teacher. How was your day? Mm, very well. What about your weekend? Uh, um, any, um, I know yesterday I started working and um, and Where do you work? And my work is very fun. What What do you do? And I work in, in the say in garden security. I don't know. Security. How do you say uh -huh, security? For for which company? Yeah. In the I try working in the embassy. 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 Uh -huh. You work there or, or you try to work? I try to work there, but I need more doing English. Okay, you need to learn English. Good. That's why you are here. That's you right. will be Teacher. doing well. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> pasa, pasa. But you may try to go to another embassy, a Spanish um, one. <laughs> no, it's... a Latin American one. The Latino page more. Are, are you an uh, agent, an official? Yeah. From, from P PNC? Are you a police officer? No, I military. A military? You you are working. You are a, um. I work in the air force. Good for SEPA. Mm, in the bank. Oh, okay. I used to work at the. First, I work at SEPA and then I work at the Escuela de Aeronáutica Civil. You work in there? Yes, I, I digitalize all the, all the manuals that they use. Uh, yes. Really? Yeah. Yes. The funny thing is that when I when they need somebody to digitalize, I went there and I asked for for the job, and then they say, "Okay, but you can you can you uh, use a computer?" And then I look at him and I say, "That's a computer, the one that he has there," and he say, "Yes, well the." The the keyboard is similar to 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 a typewriter, I said, and I am very good at typewriting. And he said, but we need somebody to know computer. And I say, well, please give me the chance for a month. If I do it well, you hire me. If I don't do it well, I go away and I don't ask for 
for salary. And they say, good. And they show me how to get in because it, it was, it, it used the MS DOS. We don't have mouses and all that. We, we only have everything with the keyboard. And they show me how to get in, how to, how to finish everything because with a word perfect 5.2 or 5.1, and uh, you need to do all the comments in the keyboard. So they, they teach me how to do that. I copy everything, all the comments in a, in a notebook. And I started working. They hired someone else beside me. And she has five years being uh, uh, digitalized, the digitalizer. And only manuals. She erases her computer twice. And I never did anything wrong. So at the end, I was hired and she was <laughs> going out. <laughs> I had to make all my, all my uh, uh, work and her work because she, she erases everything twice. Good experience. Yes. And, and, and uh, I guess that if you really want to work, you, you may do whatever you want. And, and I never had touched a, a computer before that. <laughs> <laughs> but then I decided to learn. Okay. Now, now computers are easier than when I started working with them. Now, likes and dislikes. Today is class nine. I hope that you started with the lesson. We are in section four. And repeat after me. There are two, there are two educations. There are two education. One should teach us how to make a living? One to teach a house to make a living. A living. And the other, how to live. And the other, how to live. The other, how to live. Okay. Two types of education. One to make a living and the other to teach us how to live. Believe it or not, not everybody knows how to live. No todos saben cómo vivir. Because, the, uh, for example, in my case, my brother is a genius and he loves his, his career. He is an engineer, but he hasn't learned to work for a living. He lives to work. And those are two different things. And he gets all the stress and he, that's why he's sick because he got, uh, he got sick of diabetes since he was 45 or something like that. I'm 55 and I'm still diabetes free. <laughs> okay, now remember that we were studying the regular uh, adjectives, short, shorter than the shortest. This is just a review. And then we have a uh, the positive adjectives, the comparative, and the superlatives. And we have the irregular adjectives, adjectives, comparatives, and superlatives, okay? 
Then we have the lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation expressing likes and dislikes. Okay, now. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation expressing likes and dislikes. Welcome to our section four. Do you like rap? To begin our class, I want you to pay close attention to the following conversation. Notice how they ask questions. What kind of music do you like? I really like pop. Notice how they ask questions using do and how they answer. Again, this conversation introduces us to simple present. I really like pop music. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. On the discussion box, I want you to share with us what kind of music do you listen to or like? Okay, again. Listen again. To begin our class, I want you to pay close attention to the following conversation. Notice how they ask questions using do and how they answer. Again, this conversation introduces us to simple present. I really like pop music. Do you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So? What kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. On the discussion box, I want you to share with us what kind of music do you listen to or like? Okay. Now, uh... Repeat after me. Do you like rap, Liz? Do you like, Do you like, rap, you like rap, Liz? No, I don't like it very much. No, no I, I don't like, 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 rap like rap it much. very much. Do you? Do you? Do you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, do. I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? I, I, I think, think I know, I know him. Does he, he, he play the piano? the piano? The piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. No, no he doesn't. doesn't. He's a singer. He's a singer. He's a singer. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. Oh, oh I guess I, I, I don't guess know, I know much, much about, rap. Much about rap. rap. So, what kind of music do you like? So, so what, what kind, kind of music, 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 music do you like? I really like pop music. I really, I really like, like pop, pop music. music. Who's your favorite singer? Who's Who your, your favorite singer? singer? Celine Dion. Celine Dion. Celine Dion. I love her voice. I, I, I love, love her voice. Her voice. Do you like her? Do, Do you like, like her? her? No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't, I don't like pop music very much. I, I don't like pop music, music very, very much. much. Okay, now. Uh, how many people? 
Okay. Now volunteers. Okay, and Nilsson. And Emma. And Nilsson, you go first, then Emma. Okay, teacher. Do you like rat, Emma? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I am a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I am. I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Okay, okay. thank you. Now, Jancy and Sophia. Do you like rap, Liz? Uh, no, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I am a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Okay, thank you very much. Now, Rafael and Jessica. Do you like rap, Jessica? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I am big fan of Emily. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. I am big fan Emily. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he does. He does sing. He is a singer. Oh, I guess I don't know much about rap. So, what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who you find? Who your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Okay, thank you. Now remember that it's not kind. It's kind. Kind. Okay. And it's like like like. Kind. The, the I is sounds like that. I like kind. Okay. Then we have piano and him and thing. Okay. If you notice, is the, the the pronunciation is different on the I. Okay, now uh, Elizabeth del Carmen and Bella. Elizabeth, you go first. Do you like rap, please? <laughs> no, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Emily. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He is a he's a singer. Oh, I guess 
I don't know much about rap. So what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. Okay, thank you very much. Now, other volunteers? No more volunteers? Okay, let's continue then. Lesson objective. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to ask questions in simple present using do or does, along with WH questions words. Okay, there we have a just no questions and WH questions. Do you remember what's the difference between the two kind of questions? ¿Se acuerdan cuál es la diferencia entre los dos tipos de, de preguntas? Yes. Yes lo que me gusta no. y lo que no me gusta. No, no, no es solo eso. O sea, las yes no questions son que usted las puede responder solo con yes o con no, no necesita dar mayor información. Y, y son así como, eh, va primero el auxiliar, después el sujeto y después el complemento. ¿Ok? Eh, en las WH questions, usted puede usar la yes no question como base, pero tiene que ponerle la WH word y usted no puede contestarlo solamente con yes o con no. Usted tiene que dar información que se le pide. ¿Ok? Entonces esa es la diferencia. Las yes no question, con solo decir yes I do, no I don't, ahí ya lo respondió. Pero la WH question, usted necesita dar información. You need to provide information. Okay. Now, uh, the ones on the left are just no questions. The ones on the right are WH questions. And if you notice, uh, in the Yes, no questions. They answer yes, I do. And if they want to put complete answers, they put it, but it's not needed. And in the WH questions, you need to give the information they are asking for. Okay, now repeat after me. Do you like rap? Do you like rap? Do you like rap? Do you like rap? Okay, the short answer, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. In negative sería, no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. Esas serían las short, short answers. Pero si queremos complete answers, entonces sería, yes, I do. Yes, yes I, do. I do. I like it a lot. I like it, I like it, it a lot. A lot. ¿verdad? En este caso, it está sustituyendo rap, ¿verdad? Entonces, ese, ese it sería un object pronoun, ¿ok? I like it a lot. Entonces, eh, ahí el subject pronoun sería I, el verbo like y el object pronoun it, ¿ok? Now. No, I don't like it very much. No, no I, don't I don't like, like it, it, it very, very, much. Much. very much. What kind of music do you do you like? What, what kind, kind of, of music, music, music do you like? like? I like rock a lot. I like, I like rock, rock a lot. lot. Does he play the piano? Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. 
Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. No, no he doesn't. He doesn't. Vale, si yo les estuviera pidiendo una complete answer aquí afirmativa, ¿cómo sería? Yes, he does. He does. He, he, plays, the the piano. Piano. he plays. He plays the piano. Acuérdense que eh, cuando que está en afirmativo, tiene que llevar, eh, si es en tercera persona, tiene que llevar la S al final. ¿Ok? Yes, he does. He plays the piano. Ok. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He doesn't play the piano. He doesn't play the piano. What does he play? What does he play? He plays the guitar. He plays the guitar. He plays the guitar. Do they like the Beatles? Do they, Do they like, like the Beatles? They like the Beatles? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they, do. they love them. They love them. They, they love them. them. They love them. No, they don't. No, no they, they don't. don't. They don't like them very much. Uh, they, they don't, don't like, like them very, very much. Who do they like? Who do they like? Who do, do, do they, they like? like? They like you too. They, they like you too. too, too. Okay. Now we have uh, the object pronouns. Number, singular and plural. First person, second person, third person, singular. For male or female, I. Is the personal pronoun subject. And me is the personal pronoun object, okay? The subject is the doer, the object is the receiver, okay? El sujeto es el que hace la acción y el objeto es el que lo recibe. ¿Ok? Entonces, second person, male or female, you. Object, you. Third person, male, he. In subject, him, in object. Female, she, in subject, and her, in object. Neuter, it, okay, it and it. And plural, first person, male or female, we, and the object, us. Second person, male or female, you, and the object, you. The third person, male or female, they, and the object, them. Okay. okay. Now, sure. yes. Tengo una duda. ¿Cuándo, ¿Cuándo se ocupa para el, el pronombre he, him y el his? Siempre me confundo en eso. Es que him es object pronoun. Y el his es adjective pronoun. O sea, acordate que digamos, cuando decís his es, that is his book. O sea, es adjective pronoun, o sea, que es de él, que es un posesivo. ¿Ok? En cambio, cuando estás ocupando him, es cuando él está recibiendo la acción. Es un object pronoun. Entonces, digamos, I give him a letter. Le di una carta a él. Entonces, ahí es him. Ok. Ok. ¿Te dices la diferencia ahora? Sí, sí, sí. O sea, Bien, una no. cosa es cuando él recibe la acción. ¿Cuál es la acción que le di? ¿Quién le dio la, la carta? Yo. ¿A quién se la di? A él. Entonces, I give him a letter, ahí es him. Entonces, 
eh, para que ese fuera his, yo tendría que decir, I give him his letter. Le di a él su carta. O sea, his letter. ¿Ok? Ok, y para hacer eso con otros pronombres, serían lo igual, digamos, para... Sí. Según, según, según este, eh, le compete, porque digamos, si es mujer, eh, para object pronoun es her, y para adjective pronoun es hers, y lo mismo, o sea, el object pronoun es el que recibe la acción de la oración, y el... el Adjective pronoun es el que me está dando a entender una posesión. ¿Verdad? Y yeah. yo, les, yo creo que les di ya un listado en una de las, en una de las PPT que les mandé. Están eh, object pronoun y están adjective pronouns. Ok, para que vean ustedes la diferencia entre cada uno. Y recuerden que el, el adjective pronoun siempre va a necesitar estar modificando un nombre. ¿Verdad? Okay. Now, pronouns are small words that take the place of a noun. Pronouns are words like he, you, ours, themselves, some, each. We can use a pronoun instead of a noun. If we didn't have pronouns, we would have to repeat a whole lot of nouns. O sea que los pronombres son los que toman el, el lugar de un nombre y se usan para no estar repitiendo a cada rato los nombres. ¿Verdad? Entonces... Personal pronouns represent specific people or things. We use them depending on number, singular or plural. I, we. Uh, person, first person, I. Second person, you. Third person, he. Gender, male, he, female, she, neuter, It case could be subject like we, I, you, he, she, we, you, they, or object me, you, his, her, um, no, him, her, uh, it. Us and them, okay? We use personal pronouns in place of a person or people that we are talking about, or the doer. O sea, el que está, el que está este, realizando la acción. Ese es el, el subject pronoun, okay? O sea, tanto los subject pronouns como los object pronouns son personal pronouns. If, if you notice here, both are personal pronouns, but one is subject and the other is object. Okay? We use personal pronouns in place of the person or people that we are talking about. My name is Joseph, but when I am talking about myself, I almost always use I or me, not Joseph. When I'm talking direct to you, I almost always use you, not your name. When I'm talking about another person, say John, I may start with John, but then I use he, Or him, and so on, 
¿ok? ¿De qué va a depender que yo diga he or him? He, si es el que está realizando la acción, y him, si es el que está recibiendo la acción. ¿Ok? In each pair, the first sentence shows a subject pronoun, the second an object pronoun. I like coffee. John helped me. Okay, I, subject pronoun, me, object pronoun. Do you like coffee? Do you, o sea, tú, ¿te gusta el café? John loves you. John te ama. Entonces, ¿quién está recibiendo el amor de John? You, ok. Now, he runs fast. Did Ram beat him? Did Ram beat him? Him. O sea, aquí él está corriendo. Y aquí, que si lo vencieron, ¿verdad? The, uh, did Ram beat him? O sea, Ram lo... le ganó. She is clever. Does Mary, Mary know her? Does Mary know her? O sea, her is el object pronoun. It doesn't work. Can the Mac fix it? Okay. We went home. Anthony dropped us. Do you need a table for three? Did John and Mary beat you at doubles? They played doubles. John and Mary beat them. Okay. Now help me with the reading. Rafael. When we are talking about I seen thing with a person. All the way you seen it. However, there when are the. We are talking a single thing. We almost always use it. Okay. Repeat. When we when we are talking about single thing, we almost always. Use using it. Use it. Okay. Now, Jancy. However, however, there are a few exceptions. We may okay. some. <laughs> okay. Uh, you want to continue? Continue then. Okay. We may some things refer sometimes refer to an animal as he with him or she her. Especially if the animal is domesticated or a pet. Okay. Uh, for cats or for animals and for objects, we use it. Or we may use they. Okay. But in the case of pets, we tend to personalize them. O sea, tendemos a personificarlos. Y no, ya no le decimos eso o, o, o aquello, sino que le decimos ella o él, ¿verdad? Cuando ya nos referimos a, a nuestro gatito adorado o a nuestro perrito chulo, ¿verdad? O sea, ya para nosotros no es eso o aquello, sino que es él o ella, ¿verdad? Now, eh, Elizabeth del Carmen. Yes. When, chips. When, chip, chips and some other bees, no sé qué. vessels ah, vessels or vehicles as well as some countries are often treated as female and referred to as she her okay or she or her okay it, that's true. Most of the people treat uh, their boats or chips as a female, okay? 
they they uh, and if you notice almost always they name uh, it as as a girl okay teacher yes and what is the meaning vessels uh, some uh, barcos or, or botes okay thank you okay now this is our dog rusty he's an ala alsatian he's an alsatian okay esa es la raza okay y, y fíjense que le dice he is no le dice it is okay now the nilson okay this is our dog rusty he's an alsatian Okay, continue. The Titanic was a great ship, but she sank on her first voyage. Okay, thank My you. Third. Okay. Eh, Ana Margarita. My first car was an in, and I trained her like treated, my wife. Treated her. Treat her hair like my wife. Ok. Ya quisieran algunas esposas que los trataran como tratan a los carros. De bien. <laughs> Now, uh, Sara María. Sara María. No. Natalie Patricia. Okay, you can. Yes. Go ahead, Sara. Levantado es Kyla, en esta va, ¿verdad? Yes. Kyla has new open field border white from Cambodia. Ok. Cambodia. Thailand has now opened her border with Cambodia. Ok. okay. Eh, o sea, Tailandia ha abierto su frontera con Camboya. Okay. 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 Nata, Natalie, Patricia. <laughs> Natalie, are you there? No. And Edwin. <laughs> yes, teacher. Yes. For a single person? Uh, what sentence? For a single person. For a single person. person Sometimes we don't know whether to use he or mm -hmm. she. Yeah. There are several solutions to this. Okay. If a teacher needs help, he or she should see the principal, okay? If a teacher needs help, he should see the principal. If a teacher needs help, they should see the principal, okay? When you don't know if it's he or she, then you may use both or only he or say they, okay? And Jessica Castro. We often use it to introduce a remark. Okay. Continue. It is nice to have a holiday sometimes. Okay, it is Monica important Marisol, to... Monica Marisol. Um, it is important to do this week. Okay, Sofia Castaneda. It's uh, difficult to find a job. Okay, thank you. Uh, Natalie Ayala. 
Is it normal to see them together? Okay, Catherine Irasema. It didn't take long to walk here. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, Sandra Noemi. It's raining. We also. It's raining. No, no, no. We, we also. also of the... We also. We also often use it. Also of use it. Use it. To, to talk tell about, about the weather. The weather. Temperature. Tempera temperature, time, and distance. And distance. Time. Okay. Time. It's raining. It's raining. Okay, thank you. Now, eh, Reina Lemus. It will problem be hot tomorrow. Okay. En Maya Milet. Eh, Luis Colocho. Luis. Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah. Vale. A ver, Bella Lorena. Yes. Is it a night of club yet? Okay. Eh, Katia Elizabeth. It's a eh, 50 kilometers. From here to Cambridge. Okay, thank you. Kilometers. 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 Okay, now let's see the knowledge check. Okay, do you have you already done the this knowledge check? Ya lo hicieron? Yes. Sí, vale, entonces me dan copia, no, okay. Me dan copia. Los que no lo han hecho, les vamos a dar unos minutitos para que los hagan y después lo verificamos. Okay. Do you like science fiction movies? Okay. What is here? Two, creo que. Two. Do you like science fiction movies? No. I don't. 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 Okay. I don't like. Them. Very much. Very much. Them. Jake and Liza like soap operas. Do Jake and Do. Lisa like? Do Jake and Lisa like soap operas? Jake. Doesn't. Doesn't. No. But Jake does. But I don't. Okay, why does? 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 Why does
Le voy a explicar por qué se pone das y por qué. Eh, si en lugar de but estuviera en, ahí sí sería dasen. Y también tendría que decir al final eh, tú, o sea, t o o tú, que es también. Porque estaríamos diciendo que tanto Jay como a mí no nos gusta, ¿ok? Pero en este caso justo ocupa but, que es pero. O sea, a Jack le gusta, pero a, I don't know about Lisa. Pero yo no sé sobre Lisa, ¿verdad? Entonces, a Jack sí le gusta, pero no sé sobre Elisa, ¿verdad? Si dice but tiende a ser como opuesto, como diferente, ¿ok? Aunque podría ser también Dasen, fíjense. Porque el que no sabe eh, soy yo. O sea, no dice, but I don't like. Ni tampoco dice, but eh, Lisa doesn't. Entonces, aquí... Podría ser eh, Dasen también. Why don't you ask? Here. Here. What kind of music do, do, do Noriko, Noriko and, and Ethan like? What does he play? Does he play the cello? I have this new, mm -hmm. I have his new CD. Let's, let's listen to it. 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 Okay, after, let's listen to Andrela Bocelli. I love him. 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 He's the best. A ver, hay unas que están malitas. Ajá, entonces aquí sí era Dasen. Dasen. Estoy en clase. Ok. Now it's correct. Estoy en clase. <coughs> Seis. Sorry. It no was problem. my it was my mother. It was my mother. The thing is that tomorrow I have to go with her to take her uh, blood test in order for her to see the doctor next week. Okay. okay. She doesn't understand that I'm in class. <laughs> okay, any questions? Teacher. Yes. Uh, uh, Las cinco. Eh, siempre me sale mal a mí con docent. Eh, lo que pasa es que ha de estar poniéndole eh, un apóstrofe que no es el que debería de ser. Casi mm -hmm. siempre hay ese problema. Eh, tenés que ponerle el que está a la par del cero. A mí me dio problema porque eh, como es en de medio de la oración, lo ponía con mayúscula, teacher. Y era con minúscula. También yes. eso creo que Ajá, lo ha sí, no. Tiene que ser con minúscula. Y la uh -huh. apóstrofe tiene que ser la que está a la par del cero. Se la cambio y fíjese que no me la da. Es mejor que lo copie. Mejor que lo copie así como aparece. y lo, Entonces lo copia lo de aquí. Mira, de don't. Poné uh -huh. das. Poné das. Ajá. Entonces, y le, le copias y pegas el, el, el N, N apóstrofe T. Okay. 
Thank you. Hoy sí. Ahorita estoy probando, teacher. Voy, 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 voy. Yes. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Bien, entonces ya todos estamos hasta aquí, ¿verdad? ¿Cuánto falta? Yes. Ok. Este, la vez pasada les mandé este de esta, de la clase, en la clase 8 les mandé uh, No lo habíamos terminado de ver esto, ¿verdad? ¿En dónde nos habíamos quedado aquí? ¿En los posesis? Yes. Sí, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Then, eh, ok. Ya, ya habíamos visto que los singulares son los apóstrofe S, ¿verdad? Que algunos plurales cuando son irregulares, cuando son regulares, solo se pone el apóstrofe después de la S. Y cuando son irregulares, va este, después a, a, apóstrofe y S. ¿Okay? Por ejemplo, cuando terminan en S, por ejemplo, James, este es, este es un nombre, pero termina ES. Entonces, solo se le agrega la apóstrofe y no se le pone la S. ¿okay? Eh, estos son eh, plurales irregulares, entonces no terminan en S. Entonces, se le agrega apóstrofe S. ¿okay? Y en estos possessive pronouns no llevan apóstrofe. ¿Verdad? Este... We can use of, o sea, de, cuando hablamos sobre cosas que pertenezcan a cosas. The roof of the house was damaged. O sea, el techo de la casa estaba dañado. O sea, es, ahí ocupamos of, como que se ocupara en, en, en español, ¿verdad? Eh, el techo de... La casa estaba dañado. Si se fija, es igualito que en español. Ok. Of is not always necessary. I saw this dress in the store window. Ok. Algunas veces no es necesario ocupar of. Porque aquí, por ejemplo, hubiéramos podido decir the window of the store. ¿Verdad? Pero con solo darle la vuelta y poner the store window, ya, ya se sobreentiende que la, la ventana era de la tienda. Own and belong. I own this bike. O sea, esta, esta bicicleta es mía, ¿verdad? This bike belongs to me. O sea, esta bicicleta me pertenece. Do you own this bike? Does this bike belong to you? O sea, estas, estas se escriben diferente, pero el significado viene siendo el mismo. Que la bicicleta es mía, ¿ok? Entonces, ahí tenemos, eh, aquí está el, el, el que le dije. El personal pronoun, el object pronoun, el possessive pronoun y el adjective pronoun. Este adjective pronoun es el que siempre va a tener que ir acompañado de un nombre al que califica. Entonces, aquí están las diferencias que usted me preguntaba. Aquí está him, este es his y his. ¿Cuándo vamos a ocupar uno o el otro? El possessive pronoun no necesita un nombre al cual eh, adherirse. Porque es pronoun, o sea, es possessive pronoun. Pero este que es adjective, este sí necesita un nombre. O sea, que eh, yo puedo decir, this is mine. Okay. 
this is mine. Pero en el, en el adjective pronoun tendría que decir yo, this self, this is my cell phone. My cell phone. Entonces, pero para el possessive pronoun solo puedo, puedo decir, this is mine. O podría decir, the cell phone is mine. Pero atrás del mine no necesita decir eh, cell phone. ¿Ok? Puede ir antes con el verbo to be o no se pone nada. Solo se pone que es mío. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna duda o consulta sobre estos? Personal pronoun, el que hace la acción. Object pronoun, el que recibe la acción. Possessive pronoun es un pronombre que me está dando a entender una posesión, pero que no necesita que yo eh, lo lleve siempre con un nombre. ¿Ok? O so, sea, mine es mío. Yours, tuyo. His, de él. Hers, de ella. It's, de eso o de ello. Ours, de nosotros. Yours, tu, de ustedes. Theirs, de ellos. ¿Ok? My, me, your, tú, his, eh, de él, de ella, de eso, nuestro, de ustedes y de nosotros, de, de ellos, perdón. Entonces, aquí hay diferentes tipos de possessives. This is Ruth car. This is my car. This car is mine. Si se fijan aquí, my car. Tiene que ir unido con el nombre. Y aquí no necesita llevar el nombre después de él. O sea, no, no necesita porque no es adjective. Este es adjective, tiene que llevar siempre un nombre. Este no es adjective, entonces no necesita el nombre después. This are Mary's keys. These are her keys. These keys are hers. Ok. Lo puedo poner aquí al principio, pero no necesita ir al final. Y este, después de her, sí necesita ir eh, el, el nombre del que estoy hablando. That is Trevor's house. That is his house. That house is his. Those are Jay and Joe, Joe's kids. Acuérdense que va al final apóstrofe S. Those are their kids. Those kids are theirs. Indefinite articles. And and an son indefinite articles. Eh, y eso significan un y una, ¿verdad? Pero, este, acuérdense que les dije que eh, dependía de cómo sonaba en la primera letra de la siguiente palabra que se está usando. Entonces, a ver. In English, the two indefinite articles are A and N. Like other articles, indefinite articles are invariable. You use one or the other depending on the first letter of the word following the article for pronunciation reasons. Use a when the next word starts with a consonant sound or before words starting in you when they sound like you. Examples. A desk, a student, a church, a hotel, a university, a European country. Okay. Use an when the next word starts with a vowel sound or 
with a mute age, an apple, an umbrella, an hour. Ok. Bueno, este, aquí nos quedamos en este. Y para las próximas clases vamos a seguir usando. ¿Verdad? Porque estas clases, como les he contado, son más cortitas. Porque este, solo tenemos que ver una sección. La primera semana nos pudimos dar el lujo porque eran, eran dos secciones las que teníamos que ver en una semana. Pero ahora solo es una. Ok. See you tomorrow. Continue with the section. If you finish this week, there's no problem. Si ustedes terminan esta semana, no hay problema. O sea, el problema es que se vaya atrasando. Si usted va adelantando, no hay problema. Pero siempre venga aquí para que practique. Ok. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.